What's up guys, Ivan Carranza here and welcome to Bass, bass Tone, bass, tone, 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 tone Today we're gonna take a look at the sound of the mighty Rocco Prestia of the band Tower of Power. <laughs> That groove or bass line is what Rocco played on the song So I Got to Groove. And if you paid attention, you saw my hand moving quite a bit around the neck. And that is because to get that thumpy percussive sound that Rocco Prestige is known for, we have to use left hand muting. Now let me play the bass line once again a bit slower so you get an idea of what is happening without the backing track. And it goes like one, two, So what you want to do to get that thumpy sound, like I mentioned earlier, we have to use the left hand to mute the strings, because we're not palm muting, right? And we don't have foam at the bridge to mute, we're using our left hand for this. And here's how the note would sound like if I just play normally. Right. Now I'm gonna rest my other fingers lightly on top of the other strings and I mean like very lightly I'm not putting pressure on the strings I'm just laying them on top you get that sound compared to you, know, you get a bit more percussive response out of the note if I put a bit too much pressure you know you choke the note a bit more um, it, it sounds different and uh, how much dampening you want to do depends on a lot of factor but you don't want to you know you don't want to get that sound because depending on the degree of, of pressure that you put the decay of the note is going to be different so you can play around with that a little bit to find is sweet spot for you. Now playing like this is a bit different, you have to get used to different movements on your hand because if I was to play the same bass line, playing normally I would probably play like this. Like that, right? And you don't have to jump as much as with your techniques. So what I would recommend when practicing this is to definitely slow down any kind of groove that you want to play because you have to get used to moving your hand all over the place first and to get up to speed for this you know I definitely slowed it down so I was like Like that and you know you speed it up gradually to be able to move fluidly and then you can take this and use it for things for the other thing is that because you're choking the note a little bit through the dampening you want to get a bit more bass response and one way to do that is to pay attention to how you pluck on your right hand you probably want to use as much meat on your fingers as possible. I usually, because I have, <laughs> it sounds funny, I have like dark hands, you know, they sound kind of dark compared to other people when playing. And I, I usually pluck with the upper end of my fingers, that gives me a bit more mid-range, more, more bite. Compared to that. It's a, 
it's a subtle difference, but it's definitely there. If you plug with more meat on your fingers, you're gonna get more on the notes. And you, you definitely wanna do that when using this technique to get more bass response out of the muted note. This is with the kind of like tip. This is with using more meat. And you also don't need to pluck super hard because if I do, you know, really attack the string, it sounds like that. It gets a bit more pillowy if you attack the string lightly. A lot depends on how fast the groove is and you know, there's many factors, but you don't really need to do that because you're probably gonna, you know, just choke the note completely. Now, as far as EQ or, or you know, settings, what can you do to get a, you know, that thumpy percussive sound? Um, these strings are a bit dead already, so they don't have a lot of top end, but I still rolled off a little bit of the tone control. Um, this is how it sounds like fully open. Slightly close. It gets a bit mellower. Um, it depends on what kind of bass you have as well, what kind of strings. But you can definitely get away with to control fully open if you have flat ones, for example, that's really good, sounds great. But maybe you don't want to get it like you know, that kind of sound because it's a bit too aggressive. So I would probably close down the tone control a bit. And right now I'm using my Noble DI, and all I'm doing is boosting a little bit of bass. You can use any DI you want or EQ, and I'm boosting a little bit of bass to get more, more pillow, more, more, you know, more bottom end out of those. Of those notes, if I and I'm boosting a little bit, if I close down the bass control, back to where it was, you know, it, compared to. It is a difference, so you can grab any preamp that you have or amp, boost a little bit of bass uh, to get you more, you know, more bottom end, more woof behind those muted notes. And that's pretty much it, uh, what you can do to get that sound. A lot has to do with technique, or how you adapt your hands to get that sound. If you want, and you wanna get those, you know, ghost notes, to come a bit more through in a mix, you can put a compressor in there as well to you know even those volumes. Uh, if you have a tube amp that you know probably evens out a little bit all those things, but um, you can use a mild compression or a subtle compression to you know even out your natural notes with the that kind of thing. And that would give you a really like a like a super percussive and even sound, you know, tuk -tuk 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 all the time, this pumping drive that Rocco Prestia is known for. I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. And also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the content that's coming to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.